Zepto second. It is the smallest unit of time recently discovered by modern science in Germany. A zepto second is the trillionth of a billionth of a second. But do you know friends that our Sanatani ancestors so many years ago in the Vedic era also made the smallest unit of time? What is it and how is it measured? We will know all about it today in this video. Hello friends, I am Gaurav back with a new exciting video where mythology meets science. Please subscribe to my channel Kriyansh and hit the bell icon for more videos like this. Friends, before going to the smallest unit of time, let us first talk about a complete day which we know is of 24 hours. Now let us travel from a day to the smallest unit of time through the Vedic perspective. A day has been called a Deen by our Sanatani ancestors. One Deen is made of eight Prahars. One Prahar which is three hours is made of six Muhurt and one Muhurt or half hours is of two ghari. One ghari or 15 minutes is equal to 15 kashtha. Now one kashtha or one minute is equal to 15 laghu. And one laghu or two seconds is made of five shern. Whereas one shern is made of three nimesh. And one nimesh equals to three love. Now one love is equal to three pal and one pal is made of three both. And finally one both is equal to 300 truti. So a truti is the smallest Vedic unit of time. But how can we estimate what a truti is? Friends the time a photon which is a particle of light with its speed of 3 lakh km per second takes to cross a thrasrenu or an atom is called a truti. Friends, now can you imagine what subtle most calculations our Sanatani ancestors had already done so many thousands of years ago which modern science is just reaching with zepto seconds. Just wow, isn't it? Friends, for your better understanding, previously I started to explain from a day. But we also have to travel to the biggest unit of time. So for your convenience, I will again start from a year to a day. And then we will travel to the biggest unit of time. A year is known as a Varsh in Sanskrit. One Varsh is made of two iron which you can call half a year. One ayan is equals to three ritu. Now one ritu or a season is equal to two mass. One mass or a month is equal to two paksh. One paksh or a fortnight is made of two sapta or weeks. And one sapta or week is equals to seven din. And as we know friends, a Deen is a day of 24 hours. Now enough of a backward journey. Let us now travel to the front. So far we travelled from the smallest unit of time to a complete year. So let's continue from the year. Guys 4,32,000 years make a Kali Yuga or the era of deterioration which currently we are living. Before it there was Dwapar Yuga of 8,64,000 years. Before Dwapar, there was Treta Yuga of 12,96,000 years and also before that there was Satya Yuga consisting of 17,28,000 years. Summing up these four Yugas or eras, we get a Mahayuga or the Great Period of 43,20,000 years. Similarly, 71 such Mahayugas make one Manavantar. And 14 such Manavantaras along with 15 Pralaya Sandhikals or the period of recovery from the partial destruction. Each of 17,28,000 years makes one Kalp. 
Now that we know what is a kalp, two such kalps make one ahutram. And finally, 36,000 such ahutrams make the biggest Vedic unit of time. Therefore, the Mahakalp. To be precise, a Mahakalp is the time span of 311 trillion and 40 billions of human years. That means 31,104 with 10 zeros besides it. And friends, this biggest unit of time is the entire lifespan of Lord Brahma, the creator. But that's for another day. If you guys are interested to know it, please comment down for my motivation. Thank you friends for sticking till the end. Please hit the like button if you like this video. And friends, please, please subscribe to Kriyansha as most of you don't. But guys, this is what fills me up to bring more exciting videos like this one. So please subscribe and share and I will be back with a new video soon. Till then, bye.